And actually, we are all here because of this next game, because about a year ago, I had the idea to do this showcase, and I went to this gentleman, and I said, hey, instead of having to do a demo every hour, all three days of E3, what if I figured out a way for you to do just one demo? And he, of course, instantly said, yes, please. Now, I don't think he knew that he was getting, uh, you know, what he was getting into, that we would all end up being here, streaming this live all over the world, but hey, promise is a promise. He said he would do it. So here we all are, ready and waiting for his one demo of this E3. His studio creates games that have come to define open world gaming, and they are currently the holders of three consecutive video game of the years with Skyrim, Fallout 3, and Oblivion, each a consensus game of the year winner. Those games in the studio have been led by someone who should need no introduction, but I'm giving him one anyway. Please give a warm welcome to the game director of Bethesda Game Studios and my very good friend, Todd Howard. This is great. Look at this. You all came. This is amazing. I need to let me take this in. Holy crap. You know, when I first started at Bethesda 21 years ago, yes, believe it or not, uh, there, there was no E3. There was none of this. You remember that? We had CES in Vegas, and the video games weren't even in the main building. They were in, like, an ancillary tent with the porn. <laughs> it's not, I'm not kidding. Uh, Blizzard's booth was closer, for the record. Um, <laughs> but now, now look at us. Look at all of you here. Look at video games. Everybody online uh, watching this. Uh, this is how you spend a quiet Sunday evening, I guess. Um, and you do this because games are important to all of us here. And I think we can all agree that tonight starts a week with E3 that is the world's best week of entertainment ever. Because entertainment is an essential part of our lives, and games can do things that nothing else in entertainment can. They can transport you to new worlds. They can give you the true wonder of discovery and often the pride of accomplishing something yourself in a game. It's a wonderful moment. And in the world of entertainment, there are very few things as good as Fallout. You know, we started, we've worked on Fallout for over 10 years now, and we started designing this one actually right after Fallout 3 in 2009. Um, we were busy with the Skyrim game. Uh, but for the last four years, we have been working very, very hard to create something really special. And we've done a lot. And tonight, we are going to show you a lot. And it all starts with an obsession to detail. Our artists concept every button, every blinky light, not just on one terminal, on all of them. Because it's our belief that it's all of these small details coming together that form a much, much larger whole.
And that last image is really important because one of the great things about Fallout is the world that existed before the bombs fell. And that is where our game starts. <laughs> On a beautiful Saturday morning with the threat of nuclear war looming. You're gonna knock him dead at the Veterans Hall tonight, hon. You think? Absolutely. Now get ready and stop hogging the mirror. Right. And this is where you create your character by simply selecting part of the face and sculpting. Such a cute nose. What do you think, huh? Beard or no beard? We're going to speed up time here and show you just how easy and powerful this is to create all new characters by just sculpting and making changes wherever you want in the face. No series of sliders. Hey, my turn, big guy. And of course, you can play as a female. Whoever you leave the menu as is who you'll play. And this is an entirely dynamic system. It's the same system we use to create all of the game's NPCs. We even generate a baby based on the couple you make. Ah, good morning, sir. Your coffee, 173.5 degrees Fahrenheit. Rule to perfection. Thanks, Kazuo. Nuka Cola, ice cold. Sugar bombs, 100% daily value of sugar. Good morning, Voltec calling. Voltec, remind me again. Why we're about you, sir, and helping secure your future. You see, Voltec is the foremost builder of state-of-the-art underground fallout shelters. Vaults, if you will. But there's room for my entire family, right? Of course, of course. Minus your robot, naturally. In fact, you're already cleared for entrance. It's just a matter of verifying some information. Wonderful. That's everything. Uh, just gonna walk this over to the vault. Congratulations on being prepared for the future. Thanks again. Hey, it's peace of mind. That's worth a little paperwork, right? Mr. Howard, Sean has been changed, but he absolutely refuses to calm down. You heard Codsworth say my name. That isn't for the demo. We actually have recorded around a thousand of the most popular names for him to say. How are the two most important men in my life doing? Spin the mobile a bit. He loves that. Sir? Mom? You should come and see this. Confirmed reports of nuclear detonations in New York and Pennsylvania. My God. We... we need to get to the vault. Now! I've got Sean. Let's go. Almost there. I love you. Both of you. We love you too. Hold on! Now, we're not going to be spoiling or talking about the game's story tonight, but you do survive and get lowered into the vault. Events transpire, but you then emerge 200 years later as the sole survivor of Vault 111. This is an enormous dynamic world 
where you can create any kind of character you want, go where you want, and do whatever you want. Player freedom remains our absolute number one goal. This is running on a next generation version of our creation engine, features full physical based rendering, as well as dynamic volumetric lighting. is dynamic. It is not a mode you're locked into. You can play it in first person, you can play it in third person, you can walk away whenever you want, you can shoot him in the face if you want. Okay, then. Let's stick together. Hey, head over there. And yes, you can give the dog commands by simply pointing at things in the environment and activating them. It's all contextual. Grab that. Ready to get back out there? It is from here that you'll explore the most ambitious and detailed game world that we have ever made, culminating in the massive ruins of downtown Boston. Now to the cool stuff. <laughs> this is a, a very old photo 
from the future, um, of course, of the invention of the very first Pip-Boy, uh, which is, will become, the world's uh, greatest smartwatch due to its power and portability. Um, and of course, we have a new one in Fallout 4. This is where you find it when you leave the vault. Now you do spend a lot of time in our games looking at your stats, your items, and more. So we put a lot of emphasis on making this entertaining, but also making it come alive on the screen. Your various items. We do have a layered armor system now. There are holotapes you can listen to, and some of these are even game tapes. We like all kinds of games. Yeah. We, we just, you know, the Pip-Boy is an important part of Fallout, and we love it so much. We made a real one. Uh, so uh, this comes with our collector's edition. Uh, so it is the Fallout 4 Pip-Boy edition. And yes, you can put your phone in it. And yes, we made an app for it. So it, 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 it works with the game. And yes, it's a second screen experience. And usually, I find second screen experiences, they're generally just stupid gimmicks. Um, but like, as far as stupid gimmicks goes, I assure it's the best fucking one I have ever seen. It is awesome. It is. Um, it is. Here, I, I'm going to show it to you in action. It works. It, it actually works perfectly. Um, it's the same code that we use on the Pip-Boy running on the app. Works on any platform on your local Wi-Fi, Xbox One, PS4, PC. Uh, of course, if you don't get the Pip-Boy edition, it'll obviously still work on your smartphone or tablet. Um, it's going to be iOS and Android, and it'll come out when the game comes out. <laughs> but we've also done something else for your smartphone and your tablets. A totally new game. I know. <laughs> we, we're busy. We do stuff. Um, back in 2007, we were making Fallout 3, and the iPhone came out, and we just fell in love with it. And we played games on it all the time. And we kept talking about making our own game uh, for it, a separate game from what we would usually normally do. Uh, we had a lot of ideas. We kept coming back to this one that we felt would be perfect on a touch screen and that would be no better anywhere else. So we decided to do it, uh, and here it is. It is called Fallout Shelter. And in it, you get to make your own vault. And you are the overseer controlling everything. Uh, you control uh, the people in the vault. It's your job to keep them productive and happy. This is inspired by games, the other games we love, going back 30 years to little computer people. You'll see inspirations, obviously, from XCOM, SimCity, FTL, things that we really, really like. Each dweller has full stats. They all level up. There are items, you can give them new outfits, weapons, which they'll need when you send them off into the wasteland. Um, 
So they'll head off into the wasteland and they'll have adventures and get stuff. This is actually inspired by an odd little RPG called Progress Quest. If you've never, look, look it up, it's really cute. Uh, resources are important, having the right balance of food, water, and power. There are lots of different rooms you can build, uh, ones that give you resources, some of them train people, they train your dwellers' stats. The bar, of course, trains charisma. <laughs> Classroom does intelligence, there are children, more on that in a bit. And you do get rewarded with lunch boxes full of random loot. Accidents can happen, fires can break out, uh, rat roach attacks, uh, attacks, raiders can attack. And of course, the, the best way to get new dwellers is the old, the old fashioned way. That raises their happiness when they go in the room. <laughs> and of course, as overseer, you get to name all the babies. Um, and that is Fallout Shelter. <laughs> now, this game is going to be free, but don't worry, there, there are no paywall timers. You don't need an internet connection. Uh, You, you build something, it's instantly built. Um, again, no internet connection, you can play it wherever you want. Um, we do let you buy more lunch boxes if you want more random loot, but the whole goal of this game was to do something we'd really want to play on our phones, something that made us smile and had you know, more depth than other things we were seeing. But what's been especially exciting about this game is for us to finally work with uh, some great folks at Apple. And what's even more exciting is that this game is coming out on the App Store tonight. So, uh, yeah, no, no soft launch. <laughs> it's uh, going to start rolling worldwide after the showcase this evening. I hope you check it out. I think you'll be pleasantly surprised. But we're not done talking about Fallout 4 yet. Yes! So back to the, the big one. Uh, you know, we love building stuff in our games. Um, and if you think about building and crafting, Fallout is kind of the perfect world to do all of that in. Um, so like many things, we have gone completely overboard. And here's how it works in the game. We're allowing your character, while playing, to rebuild. And it works like this, you can scrap items in the world for materials and then use those materials to build the way you want. And one of the great things about having a fully dynamic game engine is all of this just works in real time. Rip it apart and build the way you want. Like the rest of the game, this is about making it your own experience. We want you to build and decorate and, and make yourself really um, a place you want to live in. A new home uh, for yourself and your best friend, of course. <laughs> As your settlement grows, people will arrive, including certain traders. They have some of the best items in the game. Uh, for these people, you will need to, you can plant food, water, and even uh, power generators. All right, so the generators will power things through switches that require power, lights and other items. And then you run wires that connect them all, and it, again, it, it just works. You can also build your own terminals that hook to this power grid, and then you can control the various things and tweak them that the power lines are connected to. 
This includes things like turrets. Because you do want to build defenses uh, because your settlements can and will get attacked uh, by raiders. So it's fun to build up something yourself in the game that usually you'll find that, that we have built for you. Um, and there are many large sites in the game world where we allow you to build. And you can even run Brahmin caravans between your settlements. Uh, and keep in mind, like most things we do, uh, this is an optional part of the game that you can do if you want to. It's just one part of a huge game, but it's really really great for Fallout. We just absolutely love this feature. And this crafting system carries over to other things in the world. So let's say you want to build this scope. And the game will tell you you need these components. And those components are found in all of the items in the world. So you could decide to build this scope out of these, you know, say the microscope, a toy car, or these, you know, duct tape, an alarm clock and such. So we like to fill our worlds with thousands of items that you can interact with, and now all of them have purpose. And here's what it looks like in the game. We do have over 50 base weapons and over 700 modifications for those weapons. So you could take a basic, you know, a laser pistol from Fallout, just one of the base weapons, and then modify that and turn it into something completely new. modify your own power armor. We've, we've spent a lot of time on all the weapons and the armor because we have focused heavily from day one to make the combat in this game feel great. And feel great no matter how you played it. You want to play it full on first person, you can play it in third person, or you can use VATS, which now gives you more control to slow down time and choose your shots. You know, there's, there's a lot of great things uh, that this game does, but I tell you, you can be experiencing, you know, a quiet moment in the game with your dog, and the right song comes on your Pip-Boy, and the action breaks out, and you're reminded just how fun and special a Fallout game can be. Ready to fuck some shit up? Got a dog, baby. I love her so. Nothing else like her anywhere you go. A man, she had it thing but tall. Regular time size, I had a bomb. Power, a radioactive TV power, a nuclear vision, and so 
and she kisses, there's no hitch. Zero hour, she he turns on the switch. Out of my bed, out of my heart. She just the way I want it to be. A million on my TNT. Good to be back. Thank you. Thank you so much. Uh, this has been obviously a really special project for everybody in the team. Many of them are here in the house tonight. Can you guys wave? Give a big hand. Uh, you know, our fans really are the greatest in the world. I know many of you are here tonight, and I want to let you know just how important it is to us, and we know we have a responsibility to do this game right, and your love and support of Fallout have pushed us to make this our best work. Um, and we really appreciate everybody's patience. You know, we didn't say anything for years in this game while everybody waited. Um, and we don't want you to wait too much longer. So, we're happy to say Fallout 4 is coming out November 10th this year. Thanks again, everybody. I really, really, we really hope you love the game. Thanks again.